Hey, it's Aurelius, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can generate text into AI images, just like these examples right here, where we've got an office with a view of the mountains, we've got these pair of retro headphones, this portrait of a bearded man, we've got this beautiful mask, landscape of Switzerland, as you can see. So all this can be generated for free, and I'll show you how you can do this in this video. All right, so no doubt you would have heard of AI and the ability to basically generate images based on a few prompts and text that you enter. And the tools that are out there, there's a vast variety of them, but the one I am referring to and the ones that uh, I use to actually create those AI generated images is actually from Canva. So Canva not long ago released its AI image generator and you can see what it's all about. And I'll show you exactly how you can uh, access Canva's text to image generator. But let's go through some of these features and why you would use this AI image generator. To give you some ideas, here's what Canva says. You can generate an image that you can't find in its library of images and media. You can also use it to visualize a new concept or ideas to test and experiment quickly. You can also create truly one of a kind images and for marketing assets as well. You can brainstorm, seek inspiration and outsource some of the early creative thinking using text prompts and express yourself and unleash your your creativity. Now to get started and access Canva's AI text to image generator, just log into your Canva account. Now you don't need a pro account in particular, you can use a free account. What you can do is create a new design and create any kind of canvas size. So in this case, I'm just gonna do kind of like a 1080 by 1080 uh, pixel kind of square. So I've got this open. So it doesn't really matter what size just yet. It is important if you know what size you want to create in terms of the assets, whether it's square, portrait, you know, landscape. Where to access Canvas text to image generator is under apps, right? You need to enable it first and you'll see it as a first option right here, text to image. If you do not see it, simply type in text to image and you'll see right here, this is the option and you want to click on use. That'll then be enabled and be on the left navigation. And then this is where you can start entering your prompts. You can be as creative as you want. You can try an example. So a close up of a cocktail on a bar or something like a cute, adorable little uh, mouth poo in interior lighting. Uh, let's see what that generates. But before we generate, there are a few options here, such as styling. And there are more if you click on see all. And you can really specify and die down in terms of how you want your AI image to look and how you want it to be styled, whether it's filmic, minimalist. You can also create it in a digital art form where it's 3D, colorful, gradient-like, or fine art such as ink paint, uh, ink print, sorry, watercolor, color pencil, stained glass. So let's go back and there are a couple of more options right here where you can select uh, the aspect ratio. So that's why sometimes it's good to know what size you want for your asset. But let's go with this example and click on create your image. Let it do its job and it's gonna generate four images. And that's it each time you kind of click that convert or generate button. All right, so it's completed generating this cute, adorable little multiple interior lighting. All right, so we'll click that once, then that'll insert it to your actual canvas where you can now resize it and then use it in for whatever purpose. If you're not happy with what it generated, you can always click on create again, and then that'll then generate another four images. But before I move ahead any further, you may be asking why use Canva's text to image generator when there are other tools out there, such as one of the most popular being Mid Journey. Well, one of the biggest benefits of using Canva is that once you generate your image, you can then design whatever you want right here or enhance the actual AI image by clicking edit photo and then doing whatever you want to enhance it. And yes, you may be thinking you could very well just download or export the image from Mid Journey and then load it up into Canva and then edit it that way. But if you want that convenience, then, you know, Canva is just right there where you can enhance it right away. And another big benefit of using Canva is that it's really simple and easy to use. You've got this one box and a few options right here and that may be all you need as opposed to using something like Mid Journey where you're having to go on this Discord channel and then entering, you know, kind of like code, the things that you want and then it'll generate the 
photos just like this and you have to wait for it to generate and there's a ton of other people who are using you know mid journey as well so the server may be slow whereas with canva it's just dedicated towards uh, whatever you prompt it to do however to be fair with mid journey you can upgrade to its pay plan where you're given a dedicated area to enter your prompts and then generating that within seconds Back here, we are on the text to image generator and let's say we want to get a landscape a photo or image of Switzerland, right? And what we can also add and a little tip here is the actual kind of lens focal length, right? So let's say 24 millimeter, which is quite wide. And we can also say uh, ultra realistic. So the more specific you are in terms of your prompt, the better. But let's go with that. And I won't choose any styling because I kind of specified it uh, here and I'll go with aspect ratio. Let's stick to square and I'll click on create your image. And here are the four that it's generated. Let's click once on this one. This looks pretty cool. And I'll enlarge that so that you can see it. Now taking a look at this, it's not the best of quality, right? You can see this kind of house in, in the middle, whatever it is, it's kind of like all mushy but you know from afar it looks pretty cool but uh, in my opinion I think mid journey does a better job in terms of generating images and making it more realistic take this image for example where I generated a kind of minimalist office with a view and a great kind of aesthetics and this is what it's generated right it looks pretty realistic and you can still tell it's AI generated but looks pretty cool here's another example this one looks a little more realistic and it's really beautiful still and uh, could possibly use this you know in my marketing assets or whatever I want to use it for or whatever you want to use it for you know based on the text prompts of course now canvas text to image generator is free however they don't mention this anywhere clearly but if you look on their text to image uh, kind of help file you'll see you can generate up to 100 images daily specifically what does this mean well taking a look back at the actual feature you'll see these are four images that you've generated so it's counted as four so each time you create again create again or generate those images it counts as four so that's something to keep in mind however the next line says the daily limit has a long rolling window which means it doesn't reset at a specific time every day for example if it, you generate three images at 10 30 a.m these three uses will reset at 10 30 a.m the following day a concern you may have with these ai generated images is can you use them for personal and commercial purposes? Well, on Canva's website, you'll see your questions answered and it says you may use images you create with our AI text to image generator for any legal purpose, including for personal or commercial projects, as long as you follow the terms. And if you are going to use these images for commercial projects, please note that you may not have exclusive rights to your images. This means other people may also use them. But in any doubt, do seek legal advice if you are going to use it for commercial purposes. But all in all, this is a great addition to Canva because if you look at the start of it, Canva really is a design tool and being able to now generate text to images, in this case, we've got a moon rising of the mountains. I can now do things like draw, I can doodle on it. I can also add some text to it. So let's say I'm making like an Instagram carousel or something like that as an example. I can do that. I can also also add different elements, emojis, and anything to it just to, you know, add a bit more creativity. Also with the text to image that just enhances that creativity even more because whatever I'm thinking, I can prompt inside the text to image generator and then that'll generate whatever, you know, I prompted to. All right, and that's Canva's AI text to image generator in a nutshell. Let me know in the comments whether you'll be using this feature for your next project. I'd love to know. In the meantime, do take care and I'll leave up a couple of relevant videos for you to watch next.